the dramatic music plays. The battle ensues. We are here at a wet Sochi chasing down Gorsh Crab. One, two, four. Why the fuck is he behind me? Why is he be He isn't behind me. He's in front of me. He's not. Be I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. The lymphatic system. Pythagoras' theorem, even why that one poet used that one word for poetic effect in year 9 English language. But this isn't year 9 English language. This is sprint mode. And I, I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. Oh no, not, no, I can't. No, not this again. Not this again. Will Stevens, can you stop winning everything and spraying your champagne for a second? You don't understand. You're not just screwing over everyone you're racing against at this point. You're screwing over me as well. I can't use the same gag twice. Wait, wait, hang on, wait, what? Oh my god, I've won a race. Oh my god, the prophecy's been foretold. It's happened. It's finally happened. Mum, mum, get the bus ticket. We're going to Nando's. I've never actually driven Mexico before, and I'm driving it for the first time in a lobby full of people online. So this should go, I mean, absolutely spiffingly, really. It's one light, two lights, five lights, three lights, two lights again, four lights, ten lights. Charlie Whiting appears to be playing bop it with the light controls currently. And it's ten lights off, and away we go here for the Mexican Grand Prix. Oh, no. This is shaping up terrifyingly down towards ten. Well, it's four abreast at the moment. This is actually looking all right, to be honest. We're all... Oh dear lord, no, no, it's gone hideously, absolutely, predictably hideously. We've got a, a collision warning with a car we didn't even make a collision with. A Lotus and a McLaren are off. We've gone around the outside of the Williams. And this, contrary to my thoughts at the start of the race, has in fact gone spiffingly. We're up into second place. After all the shenanigans, we're behind the silent mole 45, but now... This is where it gets serious. This is where the porridge hits the fan. Because now, we've got a situation where A, we've got a clogged up fan full of porridge, and B, we're going through these quick lefts and rights. We've got one corner cut already, and, and well, there was another one. It didn't, it didn't actually tell me, but that was certainly one. And, well, we've managed to negotiate it without flinging ourselves to Nicaragua and back. So, this is looking alright, to be honest. We're still in second. In the stadium section. At <laughs> what in the Christ was this? Oh, that's that's punishable by death, that is. That, I mean, you hear stories like that in, in prison. That, I mean, literally... You'd, you'd earn respect from the other inmates if you told them you'd done that and showed them video proof. That was absolutely... That's just, just disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. I've just I've just let Super Joshi 9 through just out of pure embarrassment for what just occurred. So the Williams man is through. Uh, he's given his... He's, he's given up his rights to take second. He's just gone wide. So he's just gifted me the position back. I'm sure I'll find a way to let it... Yeah, there we go. He's launched himself. I've got, I've just got, uh, it's just, I've just got cars flinging themselves at myselves at my rear end from all angles. The Williams has gone through. Now we've got TRL Ellis in the flipping Lotus behind as well. He went off at turn one and he's already caught me and I've got a two second penalty for corner cutting. My lines are hideous. Oh dear Lord. There's another one, mate. TRL Ellis just go through. Just go through, because he's going to be having nightmares about this manor in front of him if I don't get out of the way. So, I've got out of the way of the Lotus, just purely because I think actually he might need eye laser eye surgery if he stays behind me for any longer. We've track extended a tree on the final corner as well, and I mean, this, this is a Eterno UK standards, this is. Oh, go suck your mother. So through absolutely no skill of our own, we've somehow managed to take second here. Not entirely sure how, but it's a result I'll take for my first time ever in Mexico as Colonel Chittuk actually gets disqualified around the final corner. So that's 
That's fantastic for him, gifting this Mercedes. A third position who is actually confirmed behind me this time, just thought I'd mention that. Now this next race contains flashing that may affect sufferers of photosensitive epilepsy, so be warned. I know, me being serious, what the hell is going on? And we're underway here in Mon- oh, I'll make it through turn one someday. Well, we shall motor on Sauber off, so we've gone past him, so that's fifth place. Super Joshy 9 off. Now coming through the casino section, numbers such as a McLaren. That's not the direction he should be facing, so that's fourth for us. We've smacked into the wall at Mirabeau on the inside, but we're absolutely fine. And having been punted off at turn one, a podium is now on the cards. A podium is well and truly on the cards. Mercedes in front, yellow flag, he spun it, and we're on the podium. In the true spirit of Monaco, no one can drive whatsoever, me included. We're now hunting down second place man, JSP Assassin, up towards the casino section. Oh my sweet mother of God. Send it in to top five overtakes of the week. Ryan L83, you've got a new business customer. Two people have gone through me, and we're up into second pluff. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> for goodness sake. Send that one into top five overtakes of the week whilst you're at it as well. I don't know what's happening, but second is well and truly on the cards. We've got a Sauber inside of us. A Mercedes has come out of nowhere and got... Oh, we've bottled it. We've bottled it through to back in a bit, everyone. I suppose one positive we can take is that nothing astoundingly stupid within this game has, uh, has happened as of yet. No, I'm not jinxing it. I'm like, I'm genuinely serious. Nothing has actually happened. Oh, just, just get out. Well, now seems like a decent time to head straight over to story time with flying orangutan. Once upon a time, there was this really nice grassy hill. I'm clutching at straws, people. I'm not going to lie to you. What is this? I don't understand what's happening. Why am I looking at a chest of drawers? And a flipping fire extinguisher and bit. Oh, great. Oh, that's just glorious. The flipping grassy hill is now back. I just. I just. What? I mean, what is this chair doing? Oh, yeah, don't mind that. That was just a Sauber driving through the Mercedes pit garage. And what are the pit crew doing? He's in the garage, boys. Please, mother of God, make it stop. Oh my God, he's out on the track. Oh, my, oh no, no, I'm out. No, I'm actually out. If you didn't know it already, after seven episodes, well, six actually, not including this one, but seven episodes now, that this game, it, I mean, it's just, it's just a steaming hot pile of... Nevertheless, I'm speechless again after such a monstrosity of a... I just, I don't know. I actually don't know, but nevertheless... If you have enjoyed this episode of F1 2015 Sprint Mode, do feel free to leave a like. 50 likes would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you're new around here and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. I need to go and have a hot chocolate because I don't know what's going on. Um, also, if you want to be part of one of these videos, uh, just send me a tweet on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and tell me and you'll know when I'm next planning to do one of these open lobbies. Just tweet me if, you want, if you're interested in joining, but nevertheless, it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and I don't even... <coughs>